a YouTube video with annotations but uh, yeah in this video I'm going to be doing a, a tutorial using Cheat Engine uh, specifically with regards to cheating in Xanima to gain ridiculous amounts of money with very very little effort indeed um, and that's what we're going to do today so okay first of all before you do anything you're going to want to download Cheat Engine if you haven't already and install it so if I just quickly show you using DuckDuckGo, yep quick way and uh, so you can download it, install it uh, that kind of thing, I don't need to as I've got it already once you've done that uh, you can load the load the program up, Cheat Engine up uh, and this is the main window um, as I've run this before I've already done the tutorial I, it probably is advisable to do the tutorial for yourself it's not necessarily uh, not necessary to um, do it for the purpose of this video to do what we're going to do today but it'll help you get a better understanding of Cheat Engine you know of the the workings of the program as a whole shall we say okay so but okay in terms of uh, relating to cheating with Xanima so first of all what you're going to do I've got all back on my desktop here just for ease of ease of use just for easy access there um, so first of all what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to back up your Xanima save file because you can't have multiple save files at the moment in Xanima they're stored in one place at least in the arena for the arena so anyway located in this place here um, obviously where we have user that's the user so but a quick way to locate this would be to type this to Windows Explorer into the address bar that'll bring it up so it's just a little bit quicker for you but either way they both work um, in there as I've got backed up here actually got backed up is the application files um, the actual program files from the Steam directory it's not necessary to back those up it is a gig and a, almost a gigabyte and a half in size but it's these, this folder here which I derive from this directory here the application data so it's particularly it's this file and this file I believe that are required those two files get updated every single time you run Xanima whenever you do something it saves automatically as you know so well that's what you want to do get those backed up or back up everything it comes to just just under a megabyte there so why not just to be safe uh, just so you don't lose any progress okay uh, well first of all what we're going to do then I'll close this uh, we're going to actually got it we've got sheet engine open so what we're going to do is open Xanima I'm just going to show you my uh, progress in the arena as is as of six o'clock this evening so just boot this up there's my main guy my uh, arena manager if you like skills available so far my roster all of those are recruits with the exception of Grenil who's a procedurally generated hiling okay the main thing we're going to be looking at then is the amount of money I have which is 13 gold pieces, 4 silver and 4 bronze okay this is where cheat engine comes in so what we're going to do is tab out of this we're going to go into cheat engine load examiner in what we're going to be doing is we are looking for an unknown value we can leave the value type as it is leave it as four bytes that's fine um, we're going to do a scan we're, going to look, we're looking for a value we don't know what it is but we're looking for a value which holds that amount of money which we have about 90 million almost 90 and a half million values so that's far too many so what we're going to do start now run this down so by this hand saw for the next scan we're going to do a decreased value next scan and that's brought it down from 90 million just to just over 2 million still far too many of course so we're going to do the same thing again just under 400,000 this cudgel Let's 
60, so nearly half did there. Um, it's cleaver. Just over 400. Still far too many, but compared to 90 million, uh, we're getting somewhere. 81. As well, doesn't really matter what we buy, we're just looking for a change of value. I believe that is the value we're looking for at the top there, but we'll see if we can narrow it down further. So what I'll do is actually put that in there for now. Get the spear, a new addition to the game. Oops. There we go. 21. Get the diminishing returns a little bit now. I think. 21, yeah. Okay, what we're going to do is we're going to change change tack a bit here, and I'm going to put uh, my guy in a pugilism match. So I'll be back in just a moment. You don't need to say the fight. Um, I'll keep it out uh, of the video just uh, for time's sake, and uh, we'll be back in a moment. And we're back. Yeah, so after having won the bout, we can now search for an increased value. Again, we got uh, three bronze pieces for that, but uh, they aren't stored as that, obviously, in, G in, in the actual game. So we're just looking for an increased value. And then we're down to four. So that value which I looked at before, that certainly was it. So... What we're going to do is we're going to change that to to give us a lot more money than 11 gold, 6 silver, 2 bronze. Okay, so if we change that, and we're just going to add, I don't know, let's add some zeros on the end. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 zeros on the end, why not? Now, click of a button, we should have a lot of gold. 13,000 pieces. Enough to buy anything in the market and probably never have to earn any money from fights again. But where's the fun in that? But, well, people have talked about it saying the game's really difficult, uh, it's really difficult to earn any real kind of money and therefore to get any of the real good weapons and armour. But without any challenge, that is a way to do it. It is cheating. Or, you know, gaining unfair advantage, you might say. So, anyway, if we tap out of this. What we can do is, well, we can actually close this now, uh, because despite what the tutorial says for uh, cheat engine for this particular app, but anyway, for Xanima, you don't actually need to uh, set up a memory pointer. You don't need to set up a cheat, uh, cheat table or anything like that. You don't need to store that particular value and be able to find it again because it's saved in the game's. You know, it's it's within the game's memory. You don't need to locate it again with this so that money will stay there uh, indefinitely so we can close this down close exanima boot it back up and once we get back in here we should should have all that gold. I mean, having said that, if you were to start off new and you've got all this gold, you're not going to be able to use, you know, this superior armor, uh, you know, and these certain weapons. That's for an adept fighter. Uh, you know, that's for an adept fighter. You're not going to be able to use them from the get-go. But I'm sure there is a way to cheat the XP in the game. You know, to you know, using the same process we did there, like I put a, obviously a high value depending on winning the fight because you don't earn XP if you don't win. Um, we should be able to do that. Uh, it's not something I would look to do myself, but if there is enough interest, I will uh, possibly make another video on that. But yeah, as we can see, we don't need any more cheat engine, just carry on. Um, but yeah, but you can't have multiple save files, so if you do want to. Say if I did want to go back to my old uh, save file, which I will be doing, of course, so there's no way I'm going to carry on like that. We can certainly do that. We'll just go into the backup there. 
those files and go back into app data. I'll just copy and replace all of those. Back to the previous one as of six o'clock. Okay, so very quickly open XR number again and all will be back to normal as it was before we start altering the values of the memory. So yeah, back to normal. So there you have it, uh, that's how to cheat in Xanima to earn an awful lot of money with very little effort indeed. Uh, thanks for watching the video, uh, any questions, any comments, just leave them below. Um, say if there's anybody who does, if there is any interest in uh, getting a video for possibly manipulating uh, the ranking system to, so you can... But again, it takes the fun out of the game, but if there is any interest in that, I will I'll also look at that. But yeah, that's it for me for tonight. Uh, it's two minutes to midnight now. Thanks a lot for watching, and bye for now.